white, like you don't even know it's white until you can see the inside. So I mean, the, the, the color, is, co color is inconsequential. You don't even have to know what the color is. Just know that it, 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 it colors the air. Jackie! Thank Christ you made it back here! What's some serious shit, man? Johnny, talk to me. What am I up against here? The seal on the envelope you found on Swifty? It belongs to the Brotherhood. The who? They were the original keepers of the darkness, Jackie. The Brotherhood is the holy fucking grail of secret societies. They're led by a guy named Victor, a high priest, royalty to them. He's not a good person, understand? Yeah. I met that asshole. He came after me with some kind of... thing. It was sucking the darkness out of me. There's only one thing that can do that. The Siphon of the Angelus! Jesus! I thought that thing was lost for good! Hoped it was lost for good! What the fuck is it? It's the device the Brotherhood used to cage the darkness. It's an instrument of light. It was made thousands of years ago. Some say it was forged by the Angelus itself. It's the only thing that can contain dark essence. Well, well, besides, besides you. It's powerful, Jackie, and dangerous. If they found it, that's bad. Really bad. If the Brotherhood gets a hold of the darkness, uh, 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 who knows? But I'm sure it's not good. All right, all right. I get the picture. Look, stay put. I'm gonna put these fucks out of their misery. Jackie! Holy Christ, am I glad to see you. We never saw these guys coming. They got into the damn kitchen! Boss! Who the fuck are these guys? They don't look like nobody I ever seen before. Jackie, we gotta get you up to your Aunt Sarah. And hey, watch yourself out there. You too, Benny. You be careful. I think they're all gone. Come on, let's do this. You know, I was dying to come back. Take your revenge! That's my meat sack!
Sarah's upstairs in your bedroom, locked in your panic room. They're trying to break through the door. We gotta move now. Jack, you gotta get to your Aunt Sarah. What is fucking guys? You never seen a woman like that before. What the hell do these guys want, boss? Jack, you gotta get up to sound. Jack, you gotta get up to sound. Jackie boy. Jackie, help me, please. Wake up. Come on, Jackie, wake up. Everything's okay. <sighs> there you go. You're out of it now. You fell out of the bed. <sighs> Betty? I don't understand what's happening. Is this... Is this hell? Okay, that's a new one. This is the darkness, isn't it? It's some kind of trick. Come on, Jackie, don't start talking about that stuff again, okay? The darkness isn't real. It's just in your mind. What? I'm sorry, but I know you get confused by all this. These bad dreams are a part of being sick. You gotta help us get you well again. I'll tell you what. You go by the dispensary before breakfast and I'll tell the doc you had a good night. Down, Mr. Walker. What the fuck is happening to me? some displacement therapy with him. I'll set something up. Let me know if he gets back on the cycle. Okay. I'm concerned he's regressed into a more complex cognitive disorder. His thoughts are becoming extremely disorganized. Let's try Stupid closing stuff in your head and gets jumbled weird. People think you're nuts. Hey Jackie, I got that thing you wanted. It's big. Johnny, talk to me. What is all this? Some kind of darkness trick? That's what I told them, but they wouldn't believe me. They got bad wrists from all the computers. I tried to get your rocket in here, but it was too big. That's why I don't go outside no more. Johnny, you gotta help me get out of here. You think there's some kind of secret key to everything, Jackie? It's Tuesday. You take your medicine and then you get your meatloaf. God damn it. Fly straight. 
Is it morning already? Dalfo, what the fuck's going on here? What I really want to do is paint. Well, not you too. All right, so let I me think get this straight. I think he's the one. He says he he's lives in a big mansion one. kind of place. The eyes are too close together. No, bummer. Come on! Tell me something. Anything. We're working on a plan to escape this place disguised as a Band-Aid. Yeah! But we're not sure if we can pull it off. Thanks for nothing. See you, pal. I feel sick. But I already had a nap. Tony, please, tell me you know what the fuck is going on here. Lima beans are spies. Oh, fuck me. Jackie, Dr. James is looking for you. He wants to talk to you. It's okay, you're not in any trouble. Just go see him in his office. Frank. Frank, I'm so sorry about Eddie. Oh, you mean Edward? He's right over there waiting by Dr. James's office. Go on over there, all right? How are you today, Jackie? You should really remember to take your medication. Bye-bye now. Jumbled and weird. People think you're nuts. Dr. James Jimmy, is waiting, Jackie. Jackie, come on in. I'd hoped I'd see you this morning. Please have a seat. Now I know this ain't real. <laughs> no fucking way you're a doctor. I've heard from your nurse that you're getting worried about your medication again. Do you understand why you take the medicine, Jackie? I'm not. Crazy. This is just an illusion. If you know it's an illusion, you could make it go away. But we've had this discussion before. You can't make it go away. Because it is not an illusion. Don't you see what's happening, Jimmy? The darkness is inside our heads! You mean the voice you hear, Jackie? The one that makes you do bad things? Does that seem reasonable to you? Look, I'm not gonna skirt around the issue any longer. Dr. Vic and I are concerned that you're making up new rules as you go along. Mafia fiction's fine for television, but not for real life. You're not the head of a crime family, Jackie. You're a patient in this institution, and we're trying to help you get well. There is something wrong with this place. You're not keeping okay, me here! Jackie, let's just stay chill. Dr. James is trying to help you. Ready? Shut the fuck up! Jackie, I know you're upset. But I'd like you to use your quiet voice now. I no longer wish to speak to your darkness voice. Fine. Let me out of here. I gotta take a walk. All right. Nobody's stopping you. Edward, take him to see Nurse Jenny. Come on, Jackie. Just try to stay calm, Jackie. Yeah, sure. Whatever you say, Doc. Let's go see Jenny, Jackie. you're back on your med cycle. It's a very positive sign. Dr. Vic's been asking me about your progress. He's very concerned for you. We all are. Jenny, I don't know what this place is, but I'm gonna get us out of Why here. Why would I want to get out of here, Jackie? I work here. I'm here to help you. No. No, not you two. Not you two. What the fuck is happening? 
Just stay calm, Jackie. It's going to be all right. Now, last time we talked, you were telling me about the delusions you've been having. You said you were the head of a mob family and that your house was under attack by men trying to steal the darkness from that you. That wasn't a delusion. That just happened. I know it did. I know it feels real, Jackie, but it's... Jenny, you gotta listen to me. I think this might be hell. A and we're trapped here. I'm gonna get us out. I can see why it seems like hell to you sometimes. But it's just a hospital. I want you to trust me. Everyone here is trying to help you. I don't know why this is happening, Jenny. You were dead. I saw you die. We talked about this, remember? When you don't take your medicine, you have a hard time separating fiction from reality. You get a lot of bad dreams when your serotonin's out of whack. It makes you think you're remembering things that never happened. But my family, my, my friends, the darkness. Jackie, none of this is real. I'll work out a schedule with Dr. Vic. Play your cards right and we can see a lot of each other, okay? Jackie, you okay? My schedule? What? Jenny, you don't understand. You're in real trouble. We both are. We're getting out of here. Now! Jackie, whoa, no. whoa, big guy. Cold white! <clears throat> Easy, Jackie. <clears throat> Let go oh, of me! God. Come on! You are doing All right, so here we go. Good. Easy, easy. Calm down, Jackie. We're not gonna hurt you. Keep him still. Geronimo! Johnny, cut it out! God. Johnny, what Two. the hell are you doing? Sleep. Get him off, would you please? Run, Jackie! Get back, back here, here Jackie! People. Head for the bunker! He Tell must have ate some bones. He's running for the door! Jackie, get Oi, back here! This way. There's nothing out there for you! See, as long as the bloodline continues, the darkness will always have a new host. Found that out my fifth birthday. Woke up in the middle of the night with my dad, just sitting on my bed, hovering over me. Butcher knife in his hand. <laughs> Still not really sure if the crazy fuck was thinking of putting me out of my misery, or making sure no one else would take his place. Make it stop, Jackie. Jackie, Jesus. I can't believe it, you're back. You said the darkness won't let you die, but I, I never believed you. It took it four days to repair you after you got shot in the face. Oh, I'm losing my fucking mind. Look, Jackie, I don't uh, know how to tell you this, but uh, they arranged the funeral for your Aunt Sarah today. God damn it. God damn it. It's my fault. It's my fault they killed her. It was that prick Bragg. After he shot you, your Aunt Sarah, he... Uh, uh, Jackie, uh, I'm so sorry. Jesus. It's all gone to shit. Your boys beat the Brotherhood back. Chased them out of here. But you know that wasn't the last of them, right? We can't let the Brotherhood take the darkness, Jackie. That's not gonna happen. The darkness. The darkness has Jenny's soul. And it wants these Brotherhood jackoffs dead and the siphon for itself. If I don't play ball... It says it'll keep her forever. Jackie, that siphon in the darkness's hands, it's not good. It's too powerful. With the siphon, it could overwhelm you. Take control completely. I don't have a choice. I won't let it hurt Jenny. Jackie, let's uh, let's take a step back here, okay? Let's let's think about this. So, what if? What if she isn't even real? The darkness plays tricks on you, huh? It makes you see things. No, it's her. I know it. I feel it. So. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna go to my Aunt Sarah's funeral. Then I'm gonna go kill a lot of people. Be careful, Jackie. The Brotherhood will stop at nothing to get the darkness. Nothing! Think. Think, think, think. God damn it, I can't think straight. Okay, I'm looking at this and what I'm seeing is the chime of deliverance. But, and mind you, this is a small but. All right. Hey, good to see you back on your feet, boss. Someone's gonna pay out their ass for this, Jackie. You just point the way.
Hey, Jackie. Good to see you back. Those fucking weirdos tried to drag you off. We were able to turn them around after you took so many of them out. We just couldn't get Dan Sarah in time. Frank. I'm sorry about Eddie. You did the right thing, boss. Nothing else you could have done. We're gonna take care of his wife, though, right? Of course. We'll look after his family. Thanks, boss. That means a lot. Hey, wait, what's up? Jackie? So, uh, I was fucked up, huh? Say hi to everyone for me. Jack, boy, are you a sight for sore eyes. I'm really sorry about what happened, Jack. The building burned to the ground in a four-alarm blaze earlier this week. Okay. Oh, thank God you Let's made get it, sir. The, the nerve of them barging into our home uninvited. And armed, no less. Hey, Jackie. How are you? Jackie, time to say goodbye. Jesus Christ, Jackie. I'm sorry about what happened to Sarah, Jackie. You go pay your respects now, Jackie. Jackie. You don't want to go up there, kid. Nothing you need to see. Ah, oh, fuck, Jimmy. This is all my fault. Occupational hazard, son. I'm just... I'm just so sorry about your aunt. She was one tough broad, you know. Funeral is today. We should get down there soon. Yeah. Let's go. Boss? We're ready to head to the cemetery. Just say the word and we're gone. Time to go say goodbye to Aunt Sarah, Vinny. You go ahead. I'll make sure the boys are ready for you when you get there. When I was 18, running numbers for my cocksucking Uncle Paulie, I used to kill time at Rocco's. Real shithole of a bar. But the waitress, biggest tits you ever seen. I'm pissed drunk this one time, and I hear someone call my name. Next thing I know, five goons are stomping my head in. Fucking assholes put me in the hospital for a week. Two people sat with me the whole time. Jenny and my Aunt Sarah. My last day there, when I'm finally healed up, Aunt Sarah leans in, slips me a piece of paper. It's got the names and addresses of the assholes who put me in there. One look and I got the lesson. I wasn't gonna make the same mistake those fuckers did.